evidence from within Norris Hall. I would like to take a minute to recognize the outstanding professionalism and efforts put forth by my officers since that initial 911 call came into our dispatch center Monday morning. I also want to commend the response and dedication of those officers and investigators with the Blacksburg Police, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, State Police, FBI, and ATF, along with other local jurisdictions. Based on their hard work, we have been able to confirm the identity of the gunman at Norris Hall. That person is Cho Song Hui. He was a 23-year-old South Korean here in the U.S. as a resident alien. Cho was enrolled as an undergraduate student in his senior year as an English major at Virginia Tech. Cho was in the U.S. with a residence established in Centerville, Virginia, and was living on campus in Harper Hall. A 9mm handgun and a 22 caliber handgun were recovered from Norris Hall. Ballistic tests on the evidence seized from Norris Hall and the West Ambler Johnston residence hall scenes were conducted at the U.S. Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives Lab in Maryland. Lab results confirmed that one of the two weapons seized in Norris Hall was used in both shootings. All of the deceased have been transported to the medical examiner's office in Roanoke for examination and identification. The names of the 32 deceased students and faculty will be released once all victims are positively identified and next of kin are notified. Dr. Fierro, the Chief Medical Examiner of Virginia, will go into more detail into that in a minute. I want to follow up on discussion from yesterday about the person of interest from the first shooting at the residence hall. That individual was an acquaintance of the female victim that was killed at West Ambler Johnston Hall. He was stopped in his vehicle off campus and detained for questioning. As officers were interviewing him, the shootings at Norris Hall were, were reported. We are still looking to him for information as the investigation continues. We also have no information at this time to relate the on-campus bomb threats made in the last two weeks to either of yesterday's events. Good morning. I'm Colonel Steve Flaherty. I'm the superintendent of the Virginia State Police. And, and first and foremost, I want to say to you that the men and women of the Virginia State Police, we, we have the families, uh, the staff here at Virginia Tech, the law enforcement agencies that are involved in our, in our thoughts and prayers and hope that you will as well. This is truly, truly 